Pope Francis says that the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept this offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness, and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, across the Diocese of Lincoln, we encounter the joy of the gospel through the ministry of our priests and religious, through the work of our schools and parishes, and through the witness of men and women living as missionary disciples of Jesus Christ. We are blessed abundantly in the Diocese of Lincoln. We've been given the gift of strong schools and vibrant parishes. And we are blessed with priests, religious, and lay Catholics working to bring the saving message of Jesus Christ to the world. The Joy of the Gospel campaign is a new effort in our diocese to support the work of the church. Our diocese is facing real financial needs. Our schools need your help. Our seminarians and retired priests need your help. Our parishes need your help. And to proclaim the gospel to those who need it most, to be evangelists and missionaries, our diocese needs your support. I'm glad to share with you the mission of the Joy of the Gospel campaign. I pray that each of us will give generously in thanksgiving for the generous blessings the Lord has given us. I am Sister Mary Faustina, and I'm from Milford, Nebraska originally. Um, there's never been a day that I haven't wanted to come to school. I, I love being with the children, with the teachers, um, just seeing their enthusiasm, their joy, and bring, being able to teach about Jesus. My favorite year teaching was when I got to teach religion all day long, and just being able to um, be surrounded by the faith and by other people who are also desiring to grow in their faith and to be a part of that in our young people has, has always been a joy for me. Catholic schools are important because they help form the whole child, not just the intellect, but also the will, the heart, and the soul. And so they don't inform. We don't just inform students, but we also form them in Christ. Our mission is to teach young people how to make a living, but also how to live a life, how to prepare for life on earth, but also life forever in heaven. I am Monsignor Adrian Herbeck. I am uh, one of the 23 retired priests in the Diocese of Lincoln. And uh, I grew up in the Assumption Parish in Deweese, Nebraska. But then what does the priest do? Uh, uh, we have three sources of uh, income, will be, which means the priest retirement from, from the diocese, Social Security, which is of course not very much, and thirdly, some personal savings. So outside of that, uh, there's no other way to support ourselves. Uh, we're not in the parish any longer. So therefore, the great need is for uh, increased uh, to a retirement fund. I heard of, of um, one pastor uh, explaining the needs of the campaign to his parishioners. And, and he says, I want you to be very generous and, and particularly to the priest's retirement fund because he says, if there's no room for me when I retire, I'll come and live with you. And so. Hi, I'm J.D. Flynn, Communications Director for the Diocese of Lincoln. You know, there are 100,000 Catholics in the Diocese of Lincoln. What would it take to set every single one of them on fire for Jesus Christ? What would it take for us to become 200,000 Catholics or 400,000 Catholics? Pope John Paul II said that we need to take the gospel to the streets, to meet people where they are with the good news of Jesus Christ. In the Joy of the Gospel campaign, we're going to reach out uh, to Catholics exactly where they are. We're going to reach out to divorced and remarried Catholics and invite them to return to the life of the church. We're going to reach out to college students uh, and form them in the history and literature and philosophy and theology of the church. We're going to reach out to Hispanic Catholics and to Catholics in prison. We're going to reach out to Catholics everywhere we can find them with the good news of Jesus Christ. You know, every single one of us knows Catholics uh, who are hungering for the good news of the gospel, who are hungering to find meaning in their lives. The joy of the gospel campaign and our new evangelization efforts are built to find them, to 
proclaim Christ to them and to invite them to return to the sacramental life of the Church. I'm Father Mark Seeker from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church in North Platte, Nebraska. I was ordained a priest for the Diocese of Lincoln in uh, May of 1984. Each of our parishes benefit from the Joy of the Gospel campaign. 20% of the funds that are raised uh, come back to the parishes to be used in each parish in their individual projects. We are responding to the Lord's invitation to live the Gospel in our own lives, proclaim the Gospel, and to do that all with a choice, with a decision of our mind, our heart, and our will, and to do it with joy. The joy that Jesus gave us, the joy that he calls us to live in our lives and with those that we meet. There are persons in the world who have never heard of Jesus Christ. My name is Andrew Swinky, and I am originally from Minden, Nebraska, and I am a College Forest Seminarian. Uh, studying at St. Gregory the Great Seminary for the Diocese of Lincoln. In the future, I hope St. Gregory the Great Seminary uh, continues to be this amazing place for the holiness of the priesthood to really come alive in the, the lives of the men who come here. Um, every year I've been here, it's increased uh, the number of guys coming, and uh, hopefully that trend continues as we, uh, right now we're full, and so I'm excited really about uh, everything that I've experienced. It's been just incredible. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, and so. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to the faithful in our diocese for their ongoing support of Catholic schools. Uh, we are very grateful that the diocese provides a place like this, like Bonacom House. We're so grateful for your support, and we look forward to working together to form missionary disciples of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all that you have done for the Lord and for His Church throughout all these years that you've been a member of our parishes and of our diocese. Uh, we want to thank you, uh, the faithful, for all the sacrifices that you make uh, to make it possible for us to be here to discern God's call to the priesthood. God calls us to be faithful stewards of His blessings. He calls us to support the church's mission in every way that we can. He calls us to make sacrifices to bring the joy of the gospel to every human heart. Today, I ask you to consider what you can give to the Joy of the Gospel campaign. Thank you, and may Almighty God bless each one of you.